everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name's Asha and today I've got a very exciting video for you guys. I am going to be making my own lipsticks out of old ones, discontinued ones, broken ones, ones that are like right down to the nub or even right down to the bottom. So I've been saving my lipsticks and now I'm going to show you how I created my own custom shades out of old ones that I won't wear again. This is be the beautiful packaging that I found online on AliExpress. I think it's just gorgeous um, and I'm going to show you guys a couple of shades that I created. So this color here is this amazing nude shade. I think it's gorgeous. I used about four colors for this color, um, but I just love the way it came out. Ha! Okay, we've got this, also got this baby pink. Lovely. That's I think about three shades in that one. We've got this hot fuchsia pink as well. Basically, I'm gonna show you guys how you do it and what you can do. Everything is linked down below that you'll need. For example, these are from AliExpress and so is the kit that you use to um, mold them. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to make your own custom shades and create some gorgeous, gorgeous lipsticks. Alrighty guys, let's do this. I'm so excited. This is, oh, I'm just so excited to upload this video. Okay, so you're gonna need a candle. This candle is half of the way down. Um, so find something that has been used, otherwise the flame is way too close to the spoon and it will boil your lipstick. Um, also, you have to make sure that your spoon will stay in place and not spill everywhere. So figure it out. I used a, um, as you can see, my wee shot glass and things going on. So whatever's easier for you, um, just make sure it stays. And of course, make sure your spoon is a thick metal and fairly deep. Now, packaging wise, this packaging I got from AliExpress. Feel free to check online, but I really enjoyed AliExpress for this, so there was heaps to choose from, and these are the ones that I chose. Gorgeous, right? <laughs> and here is my molds. These, um, I ended up buying two, so I could do eight colors at a time, but they've got one silicon part, which is very, very um, flexible, and then, of course, your metal part as well, and you'll see very soon why you need two different sections. And then you've got your lipsticks as well. So they are, I mean, whatever you like. Your favorite lipsticks. I mean, I personally wouldn't use my favorites, but just anything you like, mostly broken, would be preferable. And then you've got your glitters as well. Make sure they're cosmetic grade. And of course, some pigments as well. They'll be able to help you change your colors and customize your shades. All right, guys, let's do this. So, so, so exciting. Okay, so take this lipstick actually, just so you guys know, is a lipstick that I just wanted to remold and remake because I love this color so much and I was stupid and used it in a hot car and I mean, it had been sitting in the hot car for a while and honestly, it was just, it just snapped almost instantly. So, you guys probably have experienced this before. Um, you can remake your lipsticks. So I'm just emptying everything out and then I'm taking a little, little, little bit of extra color. This is from the same range of lipsticks, so the formula is the same, but the color is slightly different. But I just mix that in just because it, the lipstick had been used a tiny little bit. Putting it on top of the candle and now letting it melt. How satisfying is this to watch? Just letting it melt. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to clean out the lipstick barrel um, and make sure it's nice and clean and ready for the lipstick to go back in. It does work best if the barrel is clean. It sticks much better. So, yeah. Now grab some canola oil. Um, I didn't interest, introduce this before, sorry guys, but just a little bit of oil to put inside the mold. Don't put it in the silicon part, just the metal part. Okay guys, now it's time to pour the lipstick. So this is a very, very scary part. Okay, also you need to obviously mix the colors together. So mix them together, get a little spatula. Okay, now we're going to very, very nicely and slowly. Oh, 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 be careful. <laughs> You're gonna pour it into the mold. Take your time with this. It's really, really important that you don't overdo it or overspill it. It can spill a little bit, but you don't want to spill all your lipstick. Cool, so that is it done nicely, very slowly. I poured it down. You guys can see I'm taking my time even putting the spoon down. Beware, the spoon is hot. <laughs> okay, and also this is how it looks when it's poured in. Um, so very good, very, very good. Okay guys, moving on. So this, these two colors um, are both metallic matte lip, lipsticks and they're gorgeous, but they're both broken um, and just looking really ratty and just like not pretty anymore because they're so broken and they've been used while they've been broken, not fun. 
So I'm taking a little bit of each colour and I'm going to create a custom shade out of them. So we're just going to basically put a little bit of each. Um, I'm saving a little bit of the colours as well for other times I want to use them to mix. So just play around with colour here guys. You could mix anything else in with these. Honestly, completely up to you. This part is all up to you. Alrighty, putting that on to melt. Oh, look at it melt. Oh my gosh. How satisfying is that to watch? <laughs> All right, guys, now it is ready. You want to mix the colors together and um, just, yeah, make sure the color is what you uh, what you desired and what you wanted to come out. This color to me was absolutely perfect, so I was very excited. Um, I just realized as I poured it, as you guys can see, I've ha I have poured it, um, the color didn't go all the way to the top, so I had to go ahead and mix a little bit more, melt them into the spoon. It didn't take very long because the spoon was really hot. So just melt them in and then I have to pour it back into the mold again to fill it right the way up. So the mold does need to be right to the top. So you guys might find that um, you'll start to get used to proportions um, and figure out what you want to do or how much you need in a spoon. And you guys can see I'm using the spatula to create a bit of colour there as well and just check the colour on my hand. So you guys could do that before actually pouring it into the mold to make sure you like the colour. Okay guys, so I'm mixing this pink together. I actually didn't end up using that dark pink, you guys will see in a moment. I used this beautiful, beautiful pink colour here, which is like a really muted hot pink. So much fun. And then I wanted to take a little bit of something else. So I'm digging every last drip, drop of that out. <laughs> okay, so I ended up putting that dark lipstick away and ended up taking this baby pink, which I thought was gorgeous. It's like a nude baby pink. Again, broken lippy, so um, just wanted to you know use it in a different way. So basically, you're going to melt them together. And then you're going to take a little bit of pigment. This one is in Rose by MAC, and you're going to pour that into the lipstick. Now, just so you guys know, pigments um, are quite soft, so you do need quite a bit of them. So just be aware of what you're using. And I also mixed in Vanilla by MAC and Kitch Mist by MAC to create this colour. So I'm pouring that into the mould, taking my time with it and getting it right in there. I'm not sure if you guys can see the other mould, look at the mess I made, so yeah. <laughs> also you can see it kind of falling into the mould, it actually does that all the time. So you can choose to pour a little bit more like I did or leave it completely up to you. Now that is ready for the fridge. Okay guys, I wanted to show you this colour as well. This is four different shades, and the grey, I ended up using a little bit more of the grey, but this is four different shades. You guys can really play around and get your own colours going, because honestly, it's so much fun. Okay, so pour that into the mould, and then you've got yourself another colour. All right, let's make our lipsticks. Oh my gosh, so exciting. Okay, so these lipsticks are ready to go. They've been in the fridge for a while now. They are definitely set. So you're gonna push it into the barrel after you've taken the metal part off. Make sure it's pushed all the way down. You want to make sure that the plastic at the bottom of the barrel um, is pushed right up against the bottom of the silicon so that when you start to pull away, as you can see I'm pulling away, you're pulling the silicon to create some air bubbles. You want to make sure that when you're pulling, the um, silicon isn't pushing into the lipsticks as it's getting pulled. Otherwise, it's going to damage the bottom of your lipstick. So take your time with this. Um, it's very meticulous to get the air bubble to go right to the top of the lipstick. So definitely, definitely take your time. You'll feel when it starts to become movable. So just take your time with it. Be very delicate, very gentle. This part is a little bit of a, you know, time consuming part. I mean, it only takes about two minutes, but you're so excited to get the color out, you just don't get too excited. <laughs> okay, this part, you're just gonna clean up the edges if you need to, so you can see that I didn't quite push it down far enough, and the color got ruined a little bit by the silicon, so definitely watch out for that. Now my lipstick is brand new and looking amazing. How good is that, right? Um, and also, here is the another color that I fixed up as well, in Pink Fairy, so good. So just using a knife and just scraping off the top of it, also make sure it fits really well into the lipstick. So make sure to do that too. Take your time pulling the edges, as you guys saw before. This is a matte lipstick, so the matte ones are a little bit strong, like a little bit tougher to remove because obviously with a matte texture, they're not as glide, the, the silicon doesn't glide as well. So take your time with the mattes. Um, but yeah, look how pretty this is gonna be. Okay, just wait, I'm taking my time. <laughs> Honestly, how gorgeous, right? Oh, I love it so much. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so obsessed with the, with the way these lipsticks came out. 
honestly, I'm just, I can't wait to do this again. I'm very, very excited. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you do it for yourself as well. Ah, um, so these are all the colors I made. Look how gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Um, so you got some nudes, you got a cool tone nude, warm tone nude, a glittery nude, a soft baby pink, a soft pinkish red, and then a hot red, and then a very beautiful glittery red, oh my gosh, and then the metallic colour you just saw before, and then lastly that is a um, matte lipstick in the pink shade. Thank you all so very much for watching. I had heaps and heaps of fun doing this. Um, let me know in the comments down below what you guys would like to see me do next on my channel. And of course, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed yourself and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you like videos like this one. I hope you guys have a lovely day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.